How to make social media post in Figma. Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on this channel, WebViz. So in this video, I will show you how you can make social media posts using Figma. So the first thing that you need to do is go on figma.com. This is a great tool for a non-designer to get started and because it's very hands-on and it provides an easier way than Adobe. So first thing you will do is click get started over here and then create an account. So this is what your interface would look like. So to create your first design, I'm going to click over here and then I'm going to come to this interface and I'll click the untitled tab over here and name this document. So for the sake of this video, we are creating an Instagram post for our channel. So I'll put that as WebWiz IG post design. So I'm going to click enter to save it. So the next thing you need to do is to click this frame icon over here. And on this section, you will have access to pre-made templates or frames that you can use to, your, to design your graphics. So over here, we have frames for iPhone and Android. So these are used when you're making a website design. We don't want to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and click the social media tab on the bottom of the screen. And over here, I can select any post that I want to work with. So for this video, I'm going to work on an Instagram post dimension of 1080. So I'll just click Instagram post and over here we have a very nice page that we can use to design a graphic and on this section you do have access to all the layers that you will be working with and on the right hand side you have access to all the different design elements like grid, layout, prototype that will be useful further along the way. You can also zoom in and zoom out just to have a better glimpse of your posts. So not just that, you can also create carousels. So to do that, all you have to do is select that post, click Command C plus C, and then click Command plus V. And then we do have another post over here. So I can go ahead and design them and post them on my social media accounts. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to get rid of this and we'll start working on our first frame over here. So the first thing I would do is change the background color. So first thing that I will do is change the background color. So I'm going to select my layer and then I'm going to go over here and under the fill section. So I'll just click this box and you can select any color that is of your choice and I'm going to choose purple. So the good thing is you can go over here and click this icon and then you can select different gradient options so you can go for radial angular diamond image or anything like that i'm gonna select diamond for this video so this looks good and i'm gonna click close and then i'm going to add a text so you're gonna click this text icon over here or you can simply type on your keyboard I want my text to be located on the left hand side so I'm just gonna go type out my copy and I'm gonna put web with channel so of course this looks too small guys so I'll just select all of it and then I'm gonna go under the text section and you can select this arrow over here and select the font style so I'm gonna Go under the regular tab and I want this text to be extra bold so I'll select that and then I'm also going to change the size and I want it to be anywhere around 80 so this is perfect and now the other thing you can do is also set the alignment so if you want them to be structured on the center or on the left hand side or on the right hand side i'm going to allow it to stay on the left side so okay that looks really good 
and the next thing I'm gonna do is add a little icon over here so for that you're going to click this Figma icon and you'll click this arrow and then you're going to click plug in section so this is where you can utilize different plugins that Figma has and make your post a bit more creative so click find more plugins so I need a plugin for icons so I'll just type icons over here and you can see that you do have a bunch of different plugins I'm gonna click mono icons by icon dock and I'm gonna click run and over here as you can see we do have access to many different types of items to choose from so similarly you can go in and take a look at the extensive library that Figma offers for different icons and illustrations that you can use to incorporate in your designs. So I really like this logo over here. So I'm going to select that and as you can see, we have our item displayed on a graphic. Now all I'm going to do is edit. So I want it to be slightly bigger than that and I can also go in and change the color I'll just make it nice and white and I can also make this transparent so if I want I can go in under the fill section and I'm just gonna allow its transparency to stay at 20% like that so you can really get creative with this use different tools and just play around with your design to make it sure that it is optimized for your post so let's say if you want to add any sort of shape to your design so you can just click the square icon over here you can add rectangular line arrows eclipse polygon anything like that so let's say that i want to add a little a line to this post so i'll just select that and i'm just gonna draw a nice line over here and I can also go in and change the color of this lines if I wanted to stay nice and white and you can do that as well and I'm just gonna copy this line and paste it here so I'll click command C plus command V and I'm gonna put the other line over here so, and here I'm gonna add a call to action so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select over here and click rectangular and then I'm just gonna add an ice box like that and then I'm gonna add a text to it so I will select the T icon and then I will create the boxing and write something like um, get demo so we're gonna change the alignment for this so first of all for the box I'm going to change the color of that and we're going to make it nice and black and I also want this box to have rounded corners so I'm gonna go under the corner radius over here and I'll have it set 230s as you can see we do have these really nice rounded corners on the edges and then for the text I'm also gonna change colors so I'll make it look like this color which is salmon pink and we're gonna decrease the size and we're gonna set it to 40 like that and I'm gonna decrease the width as well so it kind of makes sense all together now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the main menu and I'm gonna go under plugin section and I'll check I'll click the find more plugins and I'm gonna search for unsplash which is a great tool to have when you are designing social media posts because you have access to this intensive library for free to use images in your platform. So basically, you can go over here and search for any image that you want to input into your post. So we're going to make a post about a software tutorial. Basically, that's what we are trying to do. So we can search for software and hit the search button. And over here, you can see different images that you can get really creative with. So I'll like this page and I'll be here so I'll select that and I'm gonna close this tool and the next thing I'm gonna do is scale this image down like that and we're gonna play place it on the corner. So 
repeat and you may add other pictures that is according to your likes. Now I'm going to select this entire design and I will click frame selection. Now once and you're ready to use this design, you're going to go down, click the export icon and over here you can select the dimensions. I always go for forex and then you can select the suffix as well or into the format that you need this image in. So let's say I need this image in JPG. So let's select that and then I'll click export frame 1. So we have our frame 1 downloaded into my computer. So when I open it, this is what my design looks like. It's nice and easy. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope this video helped you guys learn more about Figma, especially in creating social media posts. Thanks again and I will see you on the next video. Bye!